Hey guys, welcome to Pell Reaction. In this episode, we'll discuss about phosphodiesterase 3 inhibitors which is clinically used in the treatment of acute heart failure, cardiogenic shock and inhibits platelet aggregation. Let's get right into it. So, to begin with, let us have a quick reference of phosphodiesterase 3 inhibitors. Some of the common drugs around are Amrinone, Melrinone which are used as a cardiotonics in the treatment of congestive cardiac failure whereas Celostazole which inhibits platelet aggregation. These are sold under the brand names Amicor, Milicor and Celostol. Next, moving on to the mechanism of action of Ambrinone and Melrinone. So, within the cardiac muscles, we have beta-1 adrenergic transmembrane receptors which is a serpentine or heptahelical domain which is G-protein coupled receptor, G-stimulatory type. When beta-1 agonist binds to beta receptor, it stimulates adenylylcyclase, AC for short. Adenyl cyclase stimulates the formation of cyclic AMP. Cyclic AMP in turn activates the cyclic AMP dependent protein kinase A, PKA for short. Protein kinase A are the phosphorylating enzymes that are responsible for the opening of calcium channels. So, calcium can enter into the cardiac muscle and whenever an impulse reach to the cardiac muscle, it produces an increased force of contraction of heart. So, in this way, cyclic AMP can increase the force of contraction of heart. But, this cyclic AMP action can be terminated and can be metabolized to AMP by phosphodiesterase 3 enzymes which are selective for the cardiac muscle. Therefore, there is no formation of protein kinase A which in turn inactivates the calcium channels and no contraction of heart. Some of the drugs like Amrinone, Melrinone which are having the suffix Renone can inhibit the phosphodiesterase 3 enzymes thereby they can inhibit the metabolism of the cyclic AMP which results in the increased levels of cyclic AMP therefore increases the force of contraction that's the reason these drugs are used as inotropic agents or the cardiotonic in the treatment of congestive cardiac failure. Next, moving on to the mechanism of action of celostazole. Within the platelets, mediators like thromboxin A2, thrombin can increase the intracellular calcium levels which results in the platelet aggregation. At the same time, cyclic AMP can act oppositely that is cyclic AMP can activate Protein kinase A. These are the phosphorylating enzymes which will convert vasodilator stimulated phosphoproteins that is VASP for short into VASP phosphorylated form which becomes inactive. This results in the decreased glycoprotein 2B3A receptor expression. In this way cyclic AMP can decrease the platelet aggregation. So remember Increased cyclic AMP can cause decreased platelet aggregation. But here again, cyclic AMP can be metabolized to AMP by phosphodiesterase 3 enzymes. This enzyme can be blocked by celostazole. In this way, celostazole can inhibit platelet aggregation can act as an anti-platelet agent. Next, moving on to the adverse effects. Clinical studies have shown that the use of phosphodiesterase 3 inhibitors can cause headache and ventricular tachycardia. The reason behind this is use of phosphodiesterase 3 inhibitors can cause increased cyclic AMP levels which cause the vasodilation of the blood vessels around the head and neck and the increased force of contraction within the cardiac muscles which results in the ventricular tachycardia. For more such pill infotainment videos, please subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.